Welcome back. Wichita's affordable housing crisis is affecting people from all walks of life. Over the coming weeks, we are showing the faces of those who have struggled to find a place to live. KSN Zena Taher is looking into the challenge of finding accessible housing. Zena? A lack of accessible housing affects a lot of people. A 2022 study from the Urban Institute and the advocacy group, the Kelsey, finds nearly 40 million people 15 and older in the U.S. have a disability. Of those, the study says 18 million qualify for housing assistance but aren't getting it. I spoke with one woman living in Wichita who struggled for years to find housing that was both accessible and affordable after an unexpected turn of events. Teresa Adams had dreams of a change of pace when she moved to Las Vegas in 2020. When her best friend decided to live out west, Teresa quit her job in Kansas and packed her bags, seeing an opportunity for a new life. But everything changed when a bad pedicure led to an infection. It turned into gangrene and traveled up my leg. It didn't get really far, but it got far enough that I had to become an amputee. At first, only her toe was amputated. She decided to move back to Wichita to stay with family and friends and have their support while she recovered. She spent months couch surfing. I didn't feel homeless when I left because I knew I was going somewhere. But when you come back and you don't have a home, you do feel homeless. She finally found an apartment she could afford. But all the while, the infection was spreading up her leg. They amputated my leg in that brought on some issues that I couldn't prevent. I was paying almost $600 for an apartment that I couldn't access. When Adams finally found an apartment that was advertised as accessible for $660 a month, it still didn't meet her needs. People think because they put bars into the bathroom that that's handicap accessible. No, handicap accessible means that you're able to access every part of that apartment. Narrow doors kept her from being able to roll her wheelchair from room to room. I couldn't use the toilet. I couldn't use the shower. I couldn't get in the bedroom. I basically lived in my living room and the kitchen. And that was my life for I don't know how long. She ended up living that way for two years, depending on outside help to get her into other rooms of her home. Since then, she's continued to see a lack of accessible housing in Wichita. The hardest part of finding housing, like I said, is just the availability. <laughs> Her life took a turn for the better when she was able to get into the Timbers, a 100-unit accessible apartment complex with low-income housing. Her mom put in an application for her twice. Adams refused to move in the first time because she says she didn't want to be labeled as handicapped. Even though I was saying no and fighting it, she was still saying yes, and uh, she got me in. Now she spends $370 a month on rent. It was very different, you know. I wasn't used to sleeping in a bedroom anymore. I wasn't used to, you know, using a regular toilet. So, sorry. Adams says she's come a long way. Living in a supportive community has helped her to be more independent. I made friends out here, developed a little family. I'm now the president of the Timbers, so I did something right. Adams says she wants to see more housing in the city that's truly accessible, not just labeled that way. She believes an increase in housing for disabled people could help fix Wichita's housing crisis. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.